Shalom again, everybody. I was just also thinking too, because I wanted to go back into what I was saying um, about Tazadak here. Um, as far as he he has everybody in there, like pretty much not keeping the commandments. Starting with the first commandment that thou shall have no other guys before me, right? So we we believe, or we're supposed to believe, that we're not supposed to have no other guys before you know the Father and the Son. Whether if you want to believe it or not, congregants of the Israelite church and God of Jesus Christ, you're worshiping Tazadaki as your God. I'll, I'll be on the prayer list. It's not, it's, not a, it's not a secret. If you go on a prayer list and you see people saying Abba which some people don't know or are familiar with their term. I don't even know if that's how you say it in Hebrew. Our Father. Our, our, our Father. Bahasham in the name Yahweh, which they believe is uh, Jesus Christ. Um, why the Comforter? Now, if we pray, if we pray to God, why why are you throwing in the Comforter? He wants you to do that. That's why he probably set up that prayer request is because he wants you to to believe to pray to him. But my husband being in the forty two, being in forty two chief uh, priest meeting. He says that the holy women are the ones who are, you know, doing the, the the prayer request. So I don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't get it. But not only that, but so thou shalt have no other gods before me. Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image or any likeness, which is in heaven above or that is in the earth beneath or that is in the water under the earth. Thou shalt not bow down thyself to them, nor serve them, for I, the Lord thy God, am a jealous God. <laughs> why are we, why are we, why is it okay for Tazadakia to sit up there and make dolls in a likeness of himself? If he, if he believes that he's the Holy Spirit, let's use our common sense here now. If Tazadakia believes that he's the Holy Spirit, why is he making a likeness of himself and he's selling it for $120? For your kids to play with. I would rather play with Barbie. Barbies ain't even $120. And that's what I was thinking about. Like these Archangel Award tickets. Archangel Award tickets. For $300. Last year I know in 2016 they were $300. Look it up. Beyonce concert tickets ain't even $300. And these ain't even really artists on a. You know what I mean. Really doing anything like that. I mean I appreciate some of their music. You know, because it's positive music, but they not. Why? Why is it three hundred dollars for an Archangel Award ticket? The the event ain't even a three. <laughs> you know what I mean? It don't seem like it costs that much to throw on a show. That you taking three hundred dollars from probably like two thousand people or so. Maybe a thousand people. I don't know. Five hundred people. I don't know. And even if you don't go, you're still required to pay. That is crazy, dude. Like. I'm just really seeing it now. Because I remember the last Archangel or yeah, Archangel Award that I went to, it was not worth my $300. It really wasn't. And I'm so mad that I paid for it because I actually had to pawn my car <laughs> to get there because at the last minute, he decided to up the tickets because of the FBI raid. The tickets were initially because we, we usually go with the cheaper tickets. And I think the tickets at the time was probably like $200, maybe $100. I think they were $100. So we bought two tickets. So that's $200. We had, we had to pay. But then, you know, we had to actually do our hotel. We had to do, you know, food, travel, everything. We were traveling with another church. Um, so, and then a week before, I think, it was probably like a week before, he talking about they $300 across the board. So, you mean to tell me I got to come up with another $400 on top of traveling? That stuff is crazy. But, yeah, I just wanted to bring that out before I lost it. 